Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft here on Magic the Gathering Online. Is it Metalworker? Is it Treachery? Is it Library? Hmm. All fascinating questions. <clears throat> I kind of love Treachery, but I don't know if it's going to do it. Maybe it's Metalworker? Maybe it's Metalworker. Metalworker's a hot daddy, right? Dream Halls. I love how I this card card that shares a color. It's very interesting, man. So I could discard like a Llanowar Elf and cast a... It's Controller? Metal Worker. <laughs> Once you show me that synergy, I'm just out, man. Oh, my opponent can also do degenerate things thanks to my card? For that reason, I'm out. I really like Basalt Monolith here, but I think it just might be Preordain. No, we gotta maximize the artifacts if we're gonna take Metal Worker seriously, you know? City of Traitors. What's this guy doing here? I wanna take the Force of Negation. <sighs> I feel like if I took Crucible, I could take Ravages reasonably easily. I think that would be an HR violation, though. So. Just Sower of Temptation? Hmm. I think it might be. I don't foresee us Ulamogging, but I guess we could cast it if we get enough artifact mana. But it doesn't help Metalworker. I'm going to take Sower under the assumption that I might have a blue deck. <sighs> Who knows, man? I have no idea. I just work here. Sometimes. Other times I don't, you know? It's a part-time job. It's a part-time summer job. I'm just here to get that extra summer cash, you know? So be sure to subscribe and follow. Click that bell. Do the things. Go to Twitch. TwitchTV.com slash Frankelpore. Take cards that let you play your opponent's deck. I'm working on it. Is it just Lotus Petal? Calder Complete is kind of cool. Yeah, Calder completes an artifact, and it's kind of cool. So, what could go wrong, you know? I do like, oh, Simic, Simic Signet's probably, the, I was going to say I do like a Sword of Feast and Famine, which I do, but Simic Signet's probably one of the better Signets we can ask for here. Pretty easy choice with a Metal Worker. Tropical Island, eh? Huh. Is Workshop still in the cube? Yeah, I, I, I assume Workshop's never never going to leave the cube. I think it's Riftwing Cloudscape, to be quite honest. 
we have no indication that we're going to be any sort of green deck. Yet, a solid blue card we will play. Fable, yeah, Fable of the Mirror Breaker is a broken magic card. What's the hold up here? Come on. Let's let's get it together. Red, green, red, green, red, black, red, green, green, blue, black. None of these are exciting. I guess I'll just take thief. Maybe we take Stomping Ground in case we Golo Golos. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense, right? We can search it out. Oh, my God. The Treachery came back. Shocked and appalled. Windswept Heath gets Stomping Ground. Does that do anything? Ravages War. I'll take Ravages War. Um. Oh boy. Good times. Let's go on to the sideboard for now. If the crucible came back, we might have a might have a decision here, but I don't feel like Chain of Vapor is a card that's like very good. I don't know, man. Why? I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Dig through time? Wow, that's a... Jeez. So the only card I passed that I maybe could have taken would be Preordain. I'm actually going to take the Oath because maybe we end up playing it. Emrakul, how interesting are you? Do you do anything for us, Emrakul? Talarian Academy? Okay, we'll just take the Talarian Academy. <laughs> wow, I almost I almost looked. I was like, Suspicious Stoe? Ooh, Demir Signet? And then I was like, oh, Talarian Academy. Let's just take that. That seems correct. Oh, I love a Karn. Although Karn is not an artifact, unfortunately. <laughs> you guys are really going to town here. What do I have? Three artifacts so far? I like Timeless Lotus. It might just be a Timeless Lotus here, but we also want payoff cards for the Metalworker. I'll take the Karn under the assumption that we can definitely get some. Oh, all right. Jace the Mind Sculptor? Sure. I mean, it's unlikely I'm going to pass a Jace the Mind Sculptor. I'm, I'm a I'm a friggin' boomer in that way, right? Like, Bob. 
Bola Citadel would have been fine, but it's no Jace the Mind Sculptor, you know? Maybe to some people it is, but not to me. He just can't let go. <laughs> Have you ever cast Bola as a Citadel? No, usually you just tinker it into play. There's a Blightsteel. There's a Channel. Metamorph seems pretty good here. I bet Blightsteel comes back. I bet Channel comes back. These people have no respect. Metamorph hits artifacts, though, so. And by hits, I mean it's a, it hits our artifact need. We got Dark Depths, Mana Vault. That is a late Mana Vault and also a Consecrated Sphinx that I have to pass. We're definitely taking Mana Vault, come on. I don't like Mind Slaver in the cube if you don't have Academy Ruins in the cube because I think that's one of the best possible combos you can, you can muster. So it just feels like you're kind of, kind of half-assing it, you know? Oh, I love a Mystic Confluence. I also love an Izzet Signet. One, two, three, four, five. You're more like a two drop, which makes me feel much better about taking Mystic Confluence. I just wanted to take it. I like cards that do stuff more than I like cards that don't do stuff. And cards like Mystic Confluence do stuff, or Signets don't do stuff. This is why I would probably take a Rona, but I think we're just taking the Signet because we just need more Signets. Yeah, Lauren of the Third Path is pretty sweet. <laughs> I would also prefer to whole asset. Instead of half ass it twice, you know. <laughs> Rona. Yeah, don't catch the Rona. Oh, the Demir Signet came back? So did the Stowaway? No one is in blue. We are the only blue drafter at this whole table. <sighs> I kind of like having a looter, but I also like having a very, very good blue Signet. This is three out of four blue signets, which is pretty hilarious. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have another pack still. God, Stowaway really does a good job of getting us. I'm gonna take Stowaway. We might, we're probably just gonna get the Izzet signet, so it doesn't matter. Mystical Tutor, sure. Hey, Batterskull. And there is a Bolus of Citadel. If only we had a way to cast that. God, did we just take Batterskull because it... Yeah, sure, what the hell. <laughs> Plightsteel came back, okay. I mean, that is a payoff for... And Channel. I said both of those are coming back. They both came back. That's kind of unbelievable. What are people taking? Every time this happens, I wonder if it's just this new generation of MTG Arena players who don't know how to properly evaluate cards. I'm always like, what What are you doing? Like, I mean, Blightstill on its own is not great, but there's also a channel in the pack. Like, I don't know, there's Tinkers. I'll take a Mana Tithe. We did not get the Izzet Signet back. That's unfortunate. But, no Mox. Mox Diamond. Here's an Emery. Didn't someone say, what if the Emery comes back? I don't know how it could have. Oh, Emmy is an Emrakul. Got it, got it, got it. Lodestone Golem is interesting. I do kind of think I want a Mox Diamond here. I like cards that do stuff more than cards that don't do stuff. That's true. It's a true statement. 
I bet Lodestone and Emery both come back. I'll take the Mox Diamond because I think it has the least chance of coming back. Oh, I love an Inkwell Leviathan. Because it's perfect because it's also, it's an enabler for the Metalworker, but it's also a, a, a castable for the Metalworker, so we'll take it. Second pick, Inkwell, what a maniac. Hmm. I kind of just like Caracas here. Thirst for Discovery, unless you discard a basic land card. I don't think we're a Skull Clamp deck. Could just take Revoker to Revoke, but I kind of like Caracas. It just ruins so many cards. Just told all the other drafters to go on his lawn. Yeah, I did. I like Crackers. <laughs> I'll take Caracas, sure. Our mana requirements are not that high, so. Oh my god, do we just take a Sun? Ugh, Factor Fiction is fine. Do we take a Sundering Titan here? I could see not playing Mind Slaver with no way to like recur it with any regularity. I just don't care about Tezzeret, man. Ugin also good, but. Again, if it I want I want the cards I pick. Like if I have a choice between an eight drop, I'd rather have the eight drop. Um that's an artifact. So I'm gonna take Sundering Titan here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think it's just warm power stone. I think it's better than Boros Signet. I don't think we were palancroning. <sighs> Y'all got problems. Counterspell? Sure. Solid. What is this? What is this brain geyser? That was wild. Is that. Why does this have a Modern Horizons logo? There's no way. What in the earth is that Brain Geyser? It's specifically a Magic Online art, but it's not... <laughs> it's not that set, obviously. Do we have any way to play this? I would play it if we did. We're not, we're not tinkering, so Sphinx. This is way too late. I think we just take Brain Geyser. I wish it was an instant. Like, there's so many better Brain Geysers. I don't know. Remand? <sighs> yeah, we're obviously taking Remand. Emery came back. Hmm, that's fascinating. Actually, I guess that's really good with Mind Slaver, so sure. I don't think we're a dig through time deck. Eh, hanger back is an artifact, sure. I do not foresee us playing any second colors. We still need like two cuts here. Wow, Tezzeret and Ugin came back. That's kind of funny. I guess we'll take Ugin. Armageddon. Oh my god, please, come on, please. <sighs> I 
Dude, I'm having a real get off my lawn moment. That's wild. I think we can take out Sower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's pretty good. Maybe we just play 41. I kind of like 41 here. Done. Can't deck us when we're playing 41, stupid. Everybody knows that. Like, I just don't want to cut anything. Like, I think Batter Skull and Cauldre are, are two of our better threats. Like, they're just Kirk cards that can do stuff. Um... Like putting on a batter skull on a Riftwing Cloud Skate is pretty cool. Putting it on a uh, suspicious stowaway that is unblockable is pretty cool. Plus, you know, I don't want to cut artifacts because we have Metalworker and Talarian Academy. Let's cancel this now because I almost forgot to put the Talarian Academy in. Can you and the Caracas? Wow. Wow. I'm like, yeah, let's talk about Talarian Academy. That would have been just wild. Plus, we only have islands now, which is super nice because we can kind of mitigate the damage by Sundering Titan. Are you guys getting spam mail that says like, congratulations, you've been chosen by like Ace Hardware or Home Depot? I didn't, I don't know if I clicked the play button. Gosh, man. <laughs> Boomer magic <laughs> at its finest. <laughs> uh, aging millennial drafting the vintage cube. Okay, interesting. Wow, there's there's a name I haven't heard in a minute. I hear it every day, really. Coles, I, I get the Coles ones too. And it's like there's always something like really off about it. And you're like, even if this was like, I just make it better. Yeah, I qualify for a bunch of stuff. I guess I never get them. Man, I love a suspicious stowaway. Emery's kind of cool too, you know? As long as she survives. If you just play an Emery and then they kill it immediately, it's like, oh. You think we're going to... I think we're going to draw a uh, Mana Vault next turn. Even if it was a real email from Ace giving me a $300 gift card, I would. I would. Send that to me. Send it my way if that happens. If with all your knowledge, you, you deem it to be a, a legitimate ace email, just send it to me. I trust you. Oh, Caracas. Welcome to the day. If they don't play anything, they're in trouble. I mean, if they if they drop a forest, then it's like they're definitely going to play something. Oh, it's a little rooty tooty. Oh, we hit a Mana Vault, a Worn Power Stone, and a Signet? Jeez. Um, I'll actually get rid of an island here. Could have probably gotten rid of Inkwell Leviathan, maybe? I don't know. But then we can maybe cast it next turn. No, we have, we'll have seven mana with the Mana Vault, I guess. Six mana? I don't know. Mana's hard. See, now we got Caracas for this idiot. What? 
One more. Also, I'm pretty sure this wasn't in the cube either. I'm pretty sure Looter was in the, in the cube. This might have been a last minute change because Ryan didn't realize it existed. I think it is Inkwell here because we can just cast it from the graveyard if we need to. I also have six mana, so we can treachery something. And I feel like I got you guys chatting it up over here. Goodbye, little questing beast. What's it gonna be? That's rude. All right. No, don't like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. If I had one more, let's see if we can draw a land here and play a Karn Liberated. Oh, we did it, guys. I think we can get rid of Cloud Skate here. The rest of my hand is fairly good. We can also steal this. This is their second green, and then we untap lands and have more green. That seems decent, right? Actually, if we play Karn and Exile this, what do we get? 3-3? Three, three? We can block? Yeah, I guess that's all right. Because it's a 3 3. That's when it leaves the battlefield, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, so I'll just chump if I if I have to save my car in that way. Interesting. Okay. Yep, we will chump block this this nerder. Nerderino. Man, it doesn't have trample. With all its power, it doesn't have trample. Exile a card from your hand. Give it to me. Give me the card. Okay, now we go one, two, three, four, five. Treachery this guy. And play Calder complete. Oh, okay, we just win the game. <laughs> Hey oh I guess that was uh all they need they're like that's it that'll do Uh yeah okay sure It's our best turn one. Mana Vault. Eh, it gives us something to do on turn two. That's okay. They did nothing on turn two? It's pretty wild. I guess we can... I, I guess I don't want to F6 because if I... Oh, that's fascinating. Uh, 
fascinating. Pretty sure we're just power stoning here. I don't love it, but. Which way are they going? Probably two counters, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, we have this guy coming down though, so. We can also treachery this next turn. That seems kind of good. One, two, three, four, five. And then play Suspicious Stowaway and keep up force. Now we can't actually do that. Fucking god damn it. <laughs> oh, God. Good times. Maybe Force of Negation comes out. I have no idea how many non-creature spells they have in here. Guy, vigilance? No. Does not have vigilance or lifelink, which makes it a very aggressive uh, equipment rather than a very. Oh, we lose five life. Wow. That's pretty good. Am I just dead? Very close. Yep. All right. Fantastic. Okay. Force can come out. What do we want instead? Probably Sower of Temptation. That seems really good against them. I almost don't hate Hanger Backwalker here. Yeah, we'll take that guy out for Hanger Backwalker. Okay, we'll give this a go. We're on the draw. They mold a six. Everything's coming up. Hey, we went to five. This is probably not going to work out for them well. I mean, they do have Skyclave Apparition and Night of Autumn, both of which are very good against us. What? Where you got to go? Oh, you're in Tokyo. I understand. So next turn we'll have four mana. Mm, that doesn't do much. Hmm. That also doesn't do much. Okay, well. Everything's coming up Millhouse, I guess. That's a good one. It's so good, I might just take it. God, this is really awkward. I mean, I think I just want batter skill here, to be honest. Yeah, it is, it is legendary, and they have a Krakus. Smart, smart call. This guy knows what's up. The Triple M knows what's up. Fascinating. I will attempt to trade with you. <clears throat> will you allow it? Will you allow the trade? You will allow it, and I gained four. Sounds great. Oh, the old post-combat questing beast. Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dang. I guess we just hold out and play Sundering Titan next turn. Kill three of their lands. Theoretically, we could take this and net a mana, right? No. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Actually, that might be worth it. One, two, three, four, five. We make six. Use five of it. We have one floating. We untap everything. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus the one floating. So they'd have no lands. And they could bounce this if they want, but then we have a million mana, so that seems pretty good. That feels correct. Okay, <laughs> that's good enough to win, I guess. Yep, <clears throat> they might not have known they could bounce this. That's weird, because we did it, so they, I'm sure they knew, but. I like the way you die, boy. Good times. I will play first. Mox Diamond. This is a turn one Emery, which is actually pretty interesting. Or a turn one Metal Worker, which is less interesting based on my hand. I think Caracas is actually better to keep. Because we're going to get plenty of blue sources, and this is still a blue source, but Caracas does something that the rest don't do. So play this, play this. Yeah, let's do, let's do a turn one Emery. I guess I'll have blue, huh? I guess we also couldn't play Metal Worker because he still costs three no matter what. So that was a that was a lie. I got a Mind Sleaver too. That's or not a Mind Sleaver, an Azuri Signet. That's pretty cool. Yeah, sometimes in the Vintage Cube, you know, you know what's up. You know when you're done. Don't probe me, bro. OG Bobby Rhombus is our opponent's name. That's pretty funny. Are you the original Bobby Rhombus? Please, my father was Bobby Rhombus. Call me Robert Rhombus. Well, this is really, a, they're really getting into the, into the tank for this one. Well, no land. So that's what's known as a bummer. Claren Academy would be cool. Uh, what hit the yard was Island, Island... Mind Slaver. And this is Aureus Signet. Interesting. Well, we're going to Metal Worker in turn and hope that they can't, like, they have that two more mana to, to put a counter on that Walking Ballista, so. Might as well get in there. <laughs> it isn't just like any quadrilateral, it's Bobby Rhombus. Cool shades. So we tap this guy for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we get a Karn out of it. I'm intrigued. 
Oh, and then we get another land. Cool. Give me them lands, boy. I am the great Carnholio. Are they doing a thing? I don't like if, if they're doing a thing. Bobby, please. Are they reading it? I don't know what's going on. Get that Urza out of here, huh? Okay. Well, we gave it our best. You know, we gave it the old college try. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Fascinating. Seems good. They have a bunch of stuff on the board. None of it's really goes together. I don't know. This weird walking ballista with one counter, this wish claw talisman that they haven't activated yet. <clears throat> then there's a Jace here. I don't know what's going on. Uh, considering this is my second draft, then no, I have not played Displacer Kitten yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Man, if we had one more mana, we could actually Mind Slaver them. Wouldn't that be cool? I, mean, I think we're just going to keep up mana confluence, mystic confluence here. And we're going to go hit Jace. I mean, they know we have Mystic Confluence. They've seen it. Okay. Jace doing what he does. We still have to hit one more artifact in order to mind slaver them, or a land. Any artifact or any land would actually mind slaver them. 
Sure. I feel like Bobby Rombus is taking a little bit. He's taking his time here. I bet the other Bobby Rombus makes decisions faster. Yeah, that was the later model. This is the OG model. Looter Ilcor. Uh, sure, that's also fine. None of these things are concerns. No attacks, Bobby? Bobby? Uh, I guess we'll just draw two and bounce the looter. Oh, they just let it happen. They were just like, you know what? I got nothing. I have f 6 my life away. <laughs> Let's go, Robert Rhombus. We're going to get we're going to get slave in here, bro. Dear Robert Rhombus. Today, Junior. Dear Robert Rhombus, it's Stan. How come you never let me resolve my spells? I try to cast them, but then you never click resolve. Sincerely, your biggest fan, Stan. <laughs> Robert Rhombus, yeah. Oh, we just win the game. Okay. Mind Slaver is a scary card. Apparently. Morning breaks into my rhombus, and I can't see it all. We have Armageddon and Ravages of War. Do we just play those? I don't think so. We'll just play it like this, I guess. We could take out Treachery, maybe. Sure. Um, this hand is kind of meh. I'm wondering if the combination of Emery and Worn Power Stone and whatever I draw could help. You know what's funny? I totally forgot it was a lock because I could just keep getting it back with Emery. So that's kind of funny. I 
I was just I, I was thinking doing it once would probably kill them because like we get to see what's under and activate their shell dock. Uh, we get to activate their wish cloth failing to find. Um, we get to bounce like their own guy with Jace or you know do something. Like I felt like we were in, you know, we could actually shoot J- bounce their guy with Jace and then shoot it in response. Like there's a bunch of stuff we could do. <sighs> Do we keep this hand or do I ship this hand? I don't love it. Like these guys are basically do nothings. But Emery could be really good. What is the cost of shipping? That's a good question. I think we're mulliganing. Okay. This seems okay. You got it. Probe me, bro. Hmm. Fascinating. Put your picture on my wall. It reminds me that it's not so bad. Oh, that's good. I'm just playing that. <laughs> Sundering Titan really can't let go. Yeah, he just keeps coming back. Bobby Rhombus, why are you being like this? There's four colors over here. Are they playing a Traxa, you think? The uh, Traxa's white, not red, so the red would be... What? What is even happening? Luteral Core? Walking Blista for one. I don't understand this. I'm very confused about everything. That was a very good draw, because now we can play this and keep up counterspell. Shooty McTooties. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we also have seven mana. Beautiful. Bobby Rhombus is playing Bobby Confidant. What are you hitting? Oh, you lucky biscuit. What a lucky little, little stink pot. Yeah, you know, I was like, we, we got Metamorph. We could also have a Bob if we want one. And I was like, mm -mm. no, don't like that. No, don't like that. Are they ninjutsuing a Fallen Shinobi? Or did they just like, oh, God, they are. Oh, God. Oh, I'm going to vomit. Oh God, the vomit. It's gonna pour out of my mouth. Oh. oh, why is this a, come on two lands. Don't be, don't my, don't be the good shit. Yes. Did it, did it, we, we, we did it. Okay, that's not great for us, but that's okay. What we can do is go one, two, three, copy this with Metamorph. 
One, two, three, four, five. That doesn't do anything. I guess we want to Karn and get rid of this guy. For obvious reasons. <laughs> One, two. I mean, we would have also liked to land. You know, it'd be fair. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana right now. If we play a Metamorph, we get extra mana. I wish we had I wish we had enough to cast this. Then I could literally wipe their whole board away. I guess we're just carning here. Oh, don't they have force of will though? God, I hope they don't have force of will. Oh man. Once I see the red Oh, they didn't. Okay, cool. Once I see like the red border outside the card, I don't know what it means, but it feels like they're they're trying some shenanigans. What are you going to hit, Bobby? What's it going to be, Bobby? Ancient Tomb. Oh, boy. Now you're going to get it, Bobby. What's that from? Is that from Happy Gilmore? Yeah, it's from Happy Gilmore when he's fighting with Bob Barker. That's what it's from. Yes. Oh, God. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Grave Titan? I don't like anything that's happening right now. Oh, sure. Okay. Land. That's that's kind of like a land, you know. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Need four more, huh? One, two, three. Yeah, Slaver would have been good, too. But right now, we get to kill most of their lands. Scooted. And still keep up Counterspell, which I like. Because next turn, we can Slaver with a Sundering Titan out, which is 14 damage alone. So... That's pretty good. I guess I'll block. You know, if they want to attack. I have no idea what their what their agenda is. Yo, Bobby Rombas in the hat. Oh, nothing. They didn't do anything. Well, that's fascinating. They played another swamp. Not great for old Bobby. Old Robert Rombas.
Dothy Voidwalker. I don't care about that. Uh, I, I don't foresee myself paying for this. I'm going to say no. It's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What if they got a remand, though, you know? That's a little scary. Card of Jump is going to exile it with a void counter. So I'm going to choose an exile card when it owns a void counter. You may play it this turn. I can just not, I can just make them not do that, right? I can just sack their guy, shoot their bob. Two. Actually, we get to keep one. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five. Hey, Robert Rhombus. Oh, we win the match. <laughs> Mind Slaver. You know, I talked shit about Mind Slaver, and then I ended up winning the match with it, so. You know. Is that karmic justice? I don't know. I'm okay with it, though. Uh, this hand is a, a beast. Oh, are they mulligan? That's cool. It does sound pretty good. I would have been like, wow, 86%. That's pretty good. But up, 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 I'm mulligan. Remand or stowaway? Probably stowaway, right? That card just gets you looting. Rooting, tooting, and looting. Digging through the deck so you don't have to. You guys remember the magic show? Man, those were the days. <laughs> Jesus. Okie dokie. I mean, you know, I'm doing okay. Get suspicious. Let's get suspicious. No, oh, I'm gonna crack this and I'm gonna get a little hollow fountain and then I'm gonna do a little thing and then I'm gonna go to play tapped. They got a signet. We'll see. Rona. Man, Rona's everyone's playing Rona. Everyone's got the Rona, you know what I mean? Let's pitch Leviathan, I think. Because now we can play this and keep up Remand. That's kind of cool. I remember a song by Moochel B about those were the days. Yeah, I think they. I think that's when they made the biscuits in the morning. You got it. Five mana to flip. That's actually not bad, man. I mean, okay, it's six, but it's like five and a Phyrexian, which is just five. Come on. No one's no one's like. Oh, interesting. What a fascinating thing to draw. That's a beauty. That's a beaut, as as they say. I'll get rid of Mind Slaver here. I think we're just keeping up counter spells. Uh, 
and then it's going to go to day. So that's cool. Oh, it's not? Restoration Angel. That felt good. You got it. Coalition Relish. Yep. Two cards in hand. Seems good. Kind of tempted to play Land Bounce Rona again. Oh, we could do that too, I guess. I'm going to ship that. Like, it doesn't do much now. And we have a good stream of cards, so, like, we can probably just hit lands. <coughs> we just got to find a, a little more... Um, a little stronger of a win condition here, unfortunately. What is this you're doing? Don't do it. So I have two cards in hand still. Okay. Big metal worker. Check it and see. I do remember when Mike B sang about Jimmy's Cornulus. Five, six, seven. Um, I think we'll just discard Metalworker here. This does speed up our clock a little bit, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> How many times are you going to replay this Rona? Discard Island now. <laughs> Affinity is literally the chat scribe. I just don't want you to get rid of my Jace, you know? It doesn't seem unreasonable. Okay, we just win the game. Cool. Seems good. Oh, boy. I kind of like Sower here. Maybe we'll take out Blightsteel. Blightsteel seems almost unreasonable to cast. Maybe he shouldn't be here to begin with. Um, yeah, I guess we'll keep this. Can we 3 0 this? Who knows? Be sure to follow or subscribe, though. It's a great way to support the channel, you know? If you want to, if you want to help a, a, a game designer looking for a job while he's, while he's on the, on the grind in the unemployment line, give him a little, give him a little, a little love, you know? Mox Diamond. Counterspell. Fascinating. Uh, 
wow, that's that's wild to me. Holy smokes. I'm actually just going to pass here and keep up Counterspell. If they want to play Lingering Souls again, I'll probably counter it. And then just play Metalworker. Lingering into Lingering is a very fast clock. Or they could play that. Or, you know, tap it, play a land, and then... Yeah, we're definitely doing this. Wild. Okay, you know, well, you just lost two lands for my one land. That does not seem as good. You got Rona again. Got the Rona. Take two. Oh, do we just steal their Rona and also pr provide a blocker? I guess we can do that next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can play that for four. Yeah, actually, this seems good. Oh, they took two? Are they gonna kill our metal worker? Oh wow, that's really frustrating, really sad. But they only have two cards now, and if we steal this Rona, like it's actually pretty good. Well, that's just beautiful. Is it second from the top? Yeah, all right, so we can get them next turn. One, two, three. I guess we can loot first. Can I just turn her into a thing, dude? Does it exile? Does, do these exile when you when you flip? Because the Magic Origins Planeswalkers do, but I, I'm pretty sure other things don't. But then again, if we flip and then they kill this, then it's like kind of sad, so. Just play Metal Worker, keep three up, I guess. Or we can just play Emery. Fascinating. Oh, we hit Jace, Stowaway, and two lands. Not ideal. Not ideal. God, they're really hitting their lands. Hmm. Despite, uh, oh, that's good. Despite having City of Traders and Strip Mind. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> that's, uh, what do we got here? One. How much mana do we have? Do we have enough to do things? Hmm. Well, so we have one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. I don't think we have enough. Maybe we do. Yeah, we do. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, we just went match. All right, 3-0. Not too bad. Not too bad. Although, where did my prizes go? Are they behind here? Yeah, give me those things. Let's open this treasure chest. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate you all. And uh, hopefully you'll consider following or subscribing. Where are my collection? There we go. I'm like, where are my things? Why are these big? Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. A little bonus. A Kozilek the Great Distortion. I wonder what that guy goes for. And a Paladin of Atonement, a card that has never seen play in the history of ever. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.